What's up guys, Squally and Heart 1000 here again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic character. And also I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a um like a basic um how do you call it? Like a not basic, sorry, a complicated event like I don't know. So you go to your character generator here is what it looks like the icon right up here. And uh, we're going to create a basic character, so I'm just going to pretty much do random stuff here. I don't like that hair. Uh, now we'll leave it. Let's try type 3. I don't know why they give him like girly looking hair. Oh, there we go. That's better. Contour. You can screw around with that if you want. Ears. Then you can make like elf ears, goblin ears, whatever. And let's keep it normal. This guy's gonna be a human. Eyebrows. Let's get. Let's just make, leave it like that. Eyes. That makes him look evil. Nah, I like that. I don't like that. But for beards, you can do like a French look at mustache, a little goatee there. And I don't know what that is. I don't, it looks like it's supposed to be like, I don't know, below his uh, chin, I guess. But in the other sprites, in the face graphic, it's not showing. But let's look at the nose here. Nose, let's I'll leave it like that. Mouth, that is very ugly. <laughs> no, they did not. I don't know, I, I like that one. There we go. And you can also give them like... um different eye levels so high that kinda makes him look weird down eh, I like the I like that beard I already showed you guys that animal ears no matter what it's gonna look the same in your face graphic but in here it's gonna look different I'm gonna leave that out for now and tail let's give him type 1 tail here wings you can give him some wings too like bat wings, de demon wings, butterfly wings looks like. I uh, will make them wingless. Mantle, and generate some random. That's like a cape kind of thing. Clothes, uh, uh, I like this. It kind of makes them look evil. Yeah. So export your face graphic. Um, doesn't matter. Name it whatever. Export character graphic. Again, name it whatever you want. Close that. And now using our new character that I just made, I'm going to make a complicated event. So, you go to your event generator here. Let's just, let's just do it like right up here. And for the record, in events, switches are going to be like your best friend when it comes to progressing throughout the game. They, yeah, they're going to like be your best friend. So here's the graphic we just made. And uh, let's let's give him like a step animation. And be like, let's use his face graphic here. Hello, I'm a bad guy. You need to kill me. Okay. So, pretty much we're making him this uh, bad guy or whatever. And uh, now let's generate a switch. So, uh, yeah, just, um, you can name your switches to kind of, like, um, you know, be able to label them as to what's going on. So, um, yeah, let, we'll make another event, an auto run, which has that switch on, and it's going to be your character. Your character is going to move back. I'm going to try and make him, uh, man, where is it? Change, no. Like, um, we can make him, like, um, yeah, define movement right here. So move down and turn up. So, yeah, we'll make your, that's what we're going to do, make your character move down and turn up. This might not work. I'm not really, who knows. Let's gen generate another random switch here. Turn that on. And, uh, new event page, switch. This is just going to be a one thing, so that's on, just so that the auto run event doesn't get caught in a loop. And now we'll go here, 
New event page, switch. No, we're not going to want to do that. This switch is on. And we're going to go back to this. And we're going to have him step again. And he's pretty much just going to uh, move down. That was one more than I needed. So we're going to make him move down. And then he'll say... Um, are you scared of me? Some basic. And then we'll generate a battle right here. Battle processing. That's just slime right up here. So we'll just leave it as slime for now. And, um, and let's go to, so after he's, after you kill him, let's make a new switch here. Again, name it. You can name it whatever you want, as long as you can just, uh, as long as you know what it's like. Actually, before this, after the battle, we're gonna say, um, you killed me. That hurt. I don't know, something basic like that. And then new event page switch. Um. That's the last switch we just made is on. We're going to leave this empty so that he'll disappear. And uh, save changes to tutorial, yes. This might not work just because, I don't know. Turn the volume on here, I can't hear anything. Let's just see if this worked. Hello, I'm a bad guy, you need to kill me. Oh, crap. I know I did wrong there. Actually, I'm actually surprised that second part worked. Um, this has to be auto run. Forgot about that. So, um, just walk into the town here. Man, why isn't it working? That's weird. But, um, hello, I'm a bad guy, you need to kill me. So, that's an odd, so it's an auto run event and it's gonna happen. Maybe I shouldn't make a move down, I'll cut this out. And just say, are you scared of me? Maybe it's the moving down that, because whenever you do, like, movement, sometimes, uh, things can happen where it just glitches up for no reason. It's just, uh, strange like that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, I tried to upload, but yeah, basically you get a battle. I tried to upload a new script and it's not working so far, so you would normally see the battle, but yeah, for this tutorial, I'm going to have to fix that script in this um, thing to be able to show battles. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, your tutorial on uh, complicated events and uh, making a basic character, so... Like, comment, subscribe if you have the time, and I will see you guys next time.